Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's Mansa Musa. Oh. Hello everyone. The response to my video asking for who the next Crusader King should be was amazing. The leader, uh, just barely, was uh, Muslim Sicily with uh, six votes. But there were a total of, I think, let me do a quick tally here, uh, about 34 votes, which is really great. Um, so thank you for everyone who voted. Uh, one person, actually, wait, let me look at my tally here. I have it written down. Uh, four people voted for the Duke of Holland, one of which wrote the comment in German, which was really cool. Thank you, sir. Um, that almost makes me want to play as him just simply because it was asked in German. But nope, nope, sorry. Anyway, he's Dutch. Uh, I instead um, will not be playing the Muslim Duchy of Sicily, much to the disappointment of six people. But uh, uh, it was interesting. Uh, the other leaders were uh, uh, a new Finland Let's Play with uh, four votes. Uh, any Byzantine with five votes. The Pechenegs got three votes, and then everybody else either got one or two votes. Now, I'll never play as the Byzantines because they are uh, already an empire. And I want to make an empire from nothing, you know? Start out with some lowly little king and go smack people down with my righteous fury. Now, one annoying thing about my Samian Let's Play was that I was Jewish. Uh, and that meant that I was uh, a heathen to everyone. So I couldn't invite any people to my court, and I, and I couldn't, you know, when I was an empire, I couldn't conquer whole kingdoms. I had to use the holy war system, and that was just tedious because I had to conquer everything duchy by duchy, and it took ages to do anything. That was supposed to make a point, speaking like that. I don't think it did. Anyway, um... Somebody mentioned uh, playing as a Norse pagan. Uh, that actually is intriguing, and I actually have not decided who I will play yet, so I'm just kind of thinking out loud here while making this video. Um, I don't know what I want to do. I might go forward in time and play as uh, Cyprus, because I'd really like to do that. But the thing is, Cyprus, as you can see, throughout history, stays pretty loyal. Yeah, it takes it quite a long time to break free of Byzantium. And then Cyprus actually becomes a kingdom, which is pretty cool. But uh, anyway, that is not my current concern. I would like to be, I don't know, maybe the Pechenegs? The problem is the Pechenegs already start pretty big, and I don't want to start that big. Look at all those provinces they have, you know? I mean, how boring. Hmm. Interestingly, I can't play as these because apparently I'm not allowed to play as lowborns. And I can't make a ruler design either. That's weird. Hmm. Mm, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's be pagan. Uh, I'll be here in Norland. Norland. Here, Norland. That was uh, that was me being very Swedish. Um, yeah, so let's do that. Now again, I'm a heathen to everyone. What, 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 I don't know, maybe because I'm a pagan. Okay, let's go to this guy, for example. Uh, Lithuania, okay, let's just pick one of your courtiers. That guy, sure, this guy. Will he accept an invitation to my court? No, false religion. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hmm, so I couldn't ever use the, uh, Conquer Entire Kingdom feature of the game, which is very annoying. Oh well. Uh, anyway, I need to go ahead and speed up time, but not actually pass any time yet. Alright, now let's have a look at me and see how I am. Not bad. Those are pretty good stats. Okay. Of course, ruler unmarried, title loss on succession, no heir of your dynasty. Hey, wait a minute. Is this the Prince and the Thane? Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Phew. So I don't have a court vulva. Vulva. Hmm. Sounds like a body part. Anyway. 
Uh, let's look at diplomacy here. No valid casus belli. No. Interesting. This Kvens guy starts as a high chief, and I could swear fealty to him. Nah, screw you. I bow to no man. Get married. Get married. Let's find our souls and murder. Let's see. Women who are not in prison and not married with really, really high stewardship. Let's see. 17 stewardship. Wow. And this one's lustful, too. That would uh, yield a lot of uh, little babies. 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 Hmm. This one seems more nice, though, for... Uh, my purposes. So let's take her. You are mine! MINE! Okay. Now I need to invite a vulva to my court. What? Reforming around the lay institution of the seniority and primary interest succession laws. Interesting. Hold a blot? Whoa! Whoa! There's actually a special event for being a Norse pagan? That's really cool! I can hold a blot! Wow! We'll give the following effects. English! Oh no. Seek out a vulva. Oh, interesting. I can only have female religious leaders. Hmm. I know nothing about Norse paganism, so, you know, whatever. Interesting, interesting. This one's female. Anyway, let's seek out a vulva. Got myself a Volvo. Yes, a Volvo. She's a better spy master than she is a... A uh, Volvo. Oh well. Do side. Commit side. 100% chance of... Volvo scares locals. Volvo sees good omens. Okay, well, uh, all right. Anyway, train troops. I uh, want to fabricate a claim on this guy and collect taxes and study technology. We want legalism, obviously. Legalism, probably over in Byzantium. You can go to Byzantium. So, yes, that was good, the right province, excellent. Alrighty, it looks like that is everything I need. Could hold a blot. I'm tempted just to see what that does. But no, not yet. What are my succession laws? Gavelkind! No! I'll have to actually change it to Ultimo Geniture. Which is really weird, but okay. Got my... Oh. Oh, wow. Two gold! Woo! Man, I'm just rolling dough. Well. Guess I can have a son. Actually, don't fabricate claims, because that's just really expensive, and I don't actually have the money to pay for that. Wow, I'm accustomed, I'm accustomed to being the emperor of Ethiopia and getting, you know, 85 gold per month. Okay. Uh, Hmm. What can I do to get control of that? Well, let's just go ahead and sow descent in Sweden. 
Can I fight a holy war? I can't fight holy wars. I can't fight holy wars? Well, what exactly can I do? I saw the blot. I just want to see what that does. Interesting picture. Who should we invite to the blot? My loyal vassal. Uh, I don't have any. Both! Invite everyone! I don't know what a blot is. Uh... The gods deserve the best. The cost is relevant. Praise Odin! Okay. Woo! We're hailing stuff like crazy. Okay. There was a knock on the door to the... You currently reside in. Outside stood... Stands stood a Volva, Volvo, Volvo uh, a small automobile, asking for a place in your household. Hmm. Her name is Saga. Well, that's very appropriate. Is Saga any good? No, she sucks. Yeah, well, that guy got eaten. Blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, we should definitely consolidate, dude. Yeah, ooh! There we go. Yeah! Just the two of us. How come he can raise more troops than me? No fair. He's cheating. So... I see an issue here. Neither of us can attack due to these rivers. So we can't actually conquer each other, but we can't declare a white peace either because we're both too prideful. So instead we're just... Uh, bye. Well, that was easy. Oh, what? Uh, well, I wasn't at war with Sweden, so... That's kind of odd. Well. Hmm. I don't think there's much I can do here. I don't think I'm good enough at this game to actually succeed here. But I do have an idea. Oh, oh, I have an idea. 